In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use expressions in the training builder to perform mathematical and logical operations, and through those expressions we are going to create a level device to establish horizontal planes in the scene. The basic mechanism of the level we're making is to measure the height difference between its right and left side, which is to say the difference between their Z coordinates, and since we already know the length of the level device, we can determine the angle through an inverse sine function. To begin, go to the SimLab Academy, then select VR, then Training Builder, and open the Expressions tutorial. Here you will find the assets that we will be using throughout this tutorial. The first item will run the tutorial video, so let's skip it and load the environment. This is an environment of an empty living room, which is suitable for VR experiences that involve furniture and decorations, and we're going to use it as the scenery for the tutorial. Drag and drop the second step to import the level device. On the device you will notice a variable writer which would serve as a display to show the angle reading, and if you were to select the variable writer, you will see that it's connected to a variable named display. Open the training builder. Let's begin by creating the variables that we will require during the experience creation. Open the variables list, and there you will find the display variable that we talked about. Now add a new variable and name it ZWrite, to store the Z coordinates for the right side of the level, and make sure you set its type to number. Add another variable, and name it ZLeft, and set its type to number as well. Finally, create a third variable to store the calculated angle, so name it angle, and set its type to number. Now we need to create an event, which when it occurs, the angle calculations are ran. Let's create a node grab started for now. Select the level model from the scene and attach it as the scene node in the event. Now we need to acquire the height for the right side of the device. So select the right end of the level, which is named right, then in the training builder, Add a get position response and attach the right component to it. The get position response, when triggered, stores the x and y and z coordinates of an object in separate variables. And since we are only interested in the z value, which is the height of the object from the ground, skip the x and y channels, and in the z channel, set the variable we created named z right. Now attach the event to the response. Create another get position response, then select the other side of the level, which is the component named left, and attach it to the response. Then in the Z channel of the response, select the variable named Z left. Attach the responses to each other to trigger them consecutively. Now that we have acquired the height for both the right and the left side of the level, we can calculate the angle of the level in reference to the horizontal plane. Add a change variable response and connect it to the get position response. In the variable channel, select the variable named angle. And now we can write an expression in the value box of that response. Before we do that, go to the academy items and double click the third step to open a web page containing all the expressions that are viable in the training builder of SimLab Composer. In the trigonometrical functions, you will find the asine function, which is short for arc sine, also known as inverse sine, and as you can see it returns a value in radians, so we need an additional expression to convert the radians to degrees, which is the rad to deg function. Go back to SimLab Composer and in the value box, type asine, then open bracket, and another open bracket, then z right, minus, z left, closed bracket, divided by, 0.5 which is the length of the level, then closed bracket. This expression will yield the angle in radians, which isn't what we're after. To convert it to degrees, at the beginning of the expression, type, rad to deg, then open bracket, and at the end of the expression add a closed bracket. Now we have an expression that calculates the angle between the level and the horizontal plane in the scene, but this angle can have either a positive or a negative value, depending on which side of the level is higher. What we want is to display the value without a negative or positive sign, 
To do that, create another change variable response, and from the variable selection list, select the display variable, which is connected to the variable writer on the level. And in the value field, type ABS, open bracket, angle, closed brackets. The second expression will give us the absolute value of the angle value, ridding us of the negative sign in case the left side had a higher Z coordinate than the right side. From the Simlab VR viewer menu, select set start position then place it and rotate it to be facing the level. Run the VR experience to test out the results so far. You might have noticed that the number displayed on the level doesn't update unless we grab the level again since it's triggered by a grab start event, which isn't convenient. What we want is for the angle to update whenever we move the level. To do that, go back to Simlab Composer and open the Training Builder. Open the variables list and create a new variable named ticker and set its type to number and make sure you set its value to minus one. Now create a compare variable value node and set its variable to ticker and the evaluation to greater than and the value to zero. Connect the monitor variable node to the get position response instead of the grab start event. Now add a change variable response and set the variable to ticker and the value to plus one. Move the view towards the end of the node network and add a change variable response and connect it to the execute channel. Set the variable to ticker and the value to minus one. Add another change variable response, set the variable to ticker and the value to plus one. The trick that we have made will play as follows. The initial value for the ticker has been set to minus one, and once it's grabbed, it will change to one, which will trigger the monitor variable node, which triggers the get position and the angle calculations responses, and will update the displayed angle on the level, then the value of the ticker variable will be set to minus one and then plus one, which in turns trigger the monitor variable value node again, creating a loop where the angle gets calculated constantly. Run the VR experience to test out the scene. We now have the angle value updating constantly, but we need a way to show which side of the level is higher than the other. Go to Simlab Composer and open the Scene States tab. There you will find three states, the first one will show an arrow to the right pointing upwards, the second will show an arrow to the left, also pointing upwards, and a third where there are no arrows showing at all. We are going to use those scene states to represent the direction of inclination for the level. In the training builder, create a monitor variable value node. Set the variable to angle and the evaluation type to greater than and the value to zero. Add an apply scene state response, then select the scene state named right and attach it to the response, then attach the response to the monitor variable value node. Select both nodes and press Ctrl and C then Ctrl and V on the keyboard to duplicate the nodes. Change the evaluation type to less than zero, then select the scene state named left and attach it instead of right. Copy the nodes one last time and change the evaluation to equals zero, then select the leveled scene state and attach it to the response. Now we're done with the training builder. Go to the libraries panel and run the last step to import a shelf. Place the shelf near the start position, then while it's selected, go to the interactions menu and select make grabbable. Run the VR experience and let's try to hang the shelf on the wall and have it be horizontal using the level device we just created. 